Hi and welcome to Happy Kitty Crafts. Today I will be showing you how to do the rag rug friendship bracelet which is basically a bracelet made from all the scrap threads that you have left over from previous friendship bracelets that were either too long or didn't work out. As you can see, I have a box full of scraps of embroidery, floss, and yarn uh, that I have collected over a while now. Um, I'm also going to use this brown, bad quality embroidery thread that I bought a long time ago and I've chosen to use as the base of the bracelet because it will only show in the beginning and in the end where I will just braid it. So it will be the part that you tie your bracelet together around your wrist. I would just like to note that in this tutorial I'm using a number of seven uh, thread, brown threads to be the base and the more threads you use as the base, the, the wider the bracelet will become. So if you use, in here I've used seven and if you use 12 it'll be much wider but if you use four it'll be a very slim bracelet. See what I mean about bad quality? It lumps up so quickly and it's very scratchy. After you're done braiding, you can either begin, begin your knotting straight away or if it makes you more comfortable, um, knot, your, knot your brown just like bracelet I have it in the beginning, again, so the just end. to secure it. But you don't have to. <clears throat> if you can tape it down, that would be fine. But in this case, I'm going to knot it. Now, because I actually forgot to start recording at the beginning, I will start the tutorial uh, midway, where I've already started on the bracelet. And I'm just going to slow it down and show you where I'm about to introduce a new thread. And this is also the first step that you do anyway. thread reaches the last brown thread what I'm going to do is continue down but going in the left direction by doing a double backwards knot.
to see that I can no longer knot the orange thread around the brown thread, I'm going to stop and I'm going to trim off uh, the, the ends that are sticking out. Continue this process and try to do some color coding while you're at it. If you have a lot of scraps like I do, I avoided uh, certain colors. I stuck with warmer colors, reds, pinks, uh, browns, uh, and avoided the greens and the blues in this one. And you're just going to end your bracelet the exact same way that you started it. You're going to knot the brown threads, the base, and braid them and then knot again. Thank you for watching and I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, I would gladly answer them.